Hey everybody. So here is a tease of something to come. This is called Coral Vine and I got two of them. Now it's not Coral Honeysuckle Vine, it is Coral Vine and it is wanting to grow pretty fast and furious because when I got it the other day it was only like to here. So we need to get this sucker in the ground pretty quick. So that'll be my project this weekend. Uh, thankfully it's a short week so hopefully I can get this one and its little partner in before too long. It is overcast today. It rained most of the day yesterday. I did post to my Facebook and Instagram. I did find a really cool find while I was out shopping for something else. I was actually looking for fountains because I want to create a frog habitat to help with the bugs and the mosquitoes. Um, and so all the research I've done says I have to draw them in. So um, that's going to be a project for another video. But so today I'm just going to be working on a lot of stuff around the garden, a lot of maintenance stuff. So I'll try to film everything and upload it and maybe give a little talk about what we're doing. I am going to be planting some stuff. I bought some mint to replace the mint that froze or not froze that died off while we were on vacation. Well, I am going to be trying some new products. So I will show you the lamp that I bought yesterday. And I'm super allergic to mosquitoes, y'all, so I bought a thermocell. Um, I was interested to see how they work. I got a lot of recommendations to try this. Um, so I went with the smaller or more affordable starter option. And if it works, then we'll buy some more. We'll buy some bigger ones. There's apparently a clip-on one I can wear um, that's probably going to be a little bit more efficient for me being out and about in the garden and having to tote this around with me because this only gives a 15-foot uh, perimeter. Okay, so what you've been seeing me do is I've been treating everything with a fungicide. My hydrangeas developed a powdery mildew right after I mulched. And when I talked to the garden center, basically the mulch helps retain moisture. It is very uncommon when it is this hot to have powdery mildew, especially if we're not having really hot days and cold nights. So then I also spotted some rings on some of my hostas. So basically somehow a fungus got introduced into my garden. So this is my second week of treating with a fungicide. I'm just treating everything. I feel like it's much better to be on the air of caution, especially with some things that I may not see. Either I miss them or they're so small that, you know, they're happening without me being aware that they're happening. So I've treated everything so far with a fungicide. I've got to do the bed under the tree in the bed by the mailbox, but uh, that's step one today. Um, you can see the hose is a mess. I did not reel it up. So this is why I'm trying out the thermocell, which I've been moving along with me because it only has a 15 foot diameter or perimeter or whatever. I got so ate up the other night. I had on Deep Woods Bug Spray, we're not gonna say the brand, with all the DEET. I had on the little bands that have citronella on them. I even went back and sprayed the like all natural one that doesn't even come in an aerosol can and within minutes I was covered in welts and itching. I was itching my face. I had to just drop the hose, come turn it off and run inside for a hot shower to get the itch off. So I was just like if I can't figure out how to get a control of these mosquitoes I may not be able to garden like it is just gonna be that bad so you've seen me put so you've seen me put dirt in the side lot that because it has a real bad dip 
so I've just been adding stuff in, like any dirt that I don't want to reuse that's true dirt, not soil anymore, it doesn't have any, any kind of nutrients in it that I'm not using, is going in there. Um, it, just to build it up, because it is so bad. But we'll see, so far so good, I don't want to jinx the thermosel, but so far so good. I've been moving it along with me. Um, and then yeah, just going to finish treating everything with fungicide. Okay, so now I'm going to go through and do some deadheading. And basically, this is going to help promote and encourage some of these plants to develop new growth and bloom again, specifically the agapanthus. And I am also going to take some of the stuff that is dead, either from the powdery mildew or whatever other fungus is on there, to hopefully encourage those plants to send that energy instead of trying to heal stuff that is too far gone, to send energy to uh, promoting new growth. So, hope you enjoy. So on these hostas, you can see that these rings are where there was a fungus and then these random bites are either earwigs or slugs. So I have put out slug bait and I treated everything with the fungicide, but instead of the plant focusing on the, ener the energy on this fungus, I wanted to focus it on new growth. But So the gardenia had been struggling for a while and it's starting to look a lot better but as you can see this this had no new growth on it it's got a lot of other new growth on it so i left everything else okay so i'm gonna clean up this here veggie garden um, i planted some seeds and some seed starters Oh my gosh. Okay. Normally I would not have done that. But holy mackerel. I don't know if you can see. Just full of snails. I threw four out before deciding to just pull it all up. It is just, there's more there, some there, holy moly. All right. Definitely putting out some snail and slug bait in the, uh, in the veggie garden. Holy mackerel. Oh my God, they're everywhere in there. Ugh. Holy mackerel. That's a problem. Alright. Y'all, I just don't have it in me today. We're gonna pray for some sun tomorrow. <laughs> 